no, no. Go not to the leith, nor twist wolfsbane, type rooted for its poisonous wine, nor suffer thy pale forehead to be kissed by nightshade, ruby grape or prosper pine. Make not your rosary of yew berries, nor let the beetle nor the death moth be your mournful psyche, nor the downy owl a partner in your sorrow's mysteries. For shade to shade will come too drowsily, and drown the wakeful anguish of the soul. But when the melancholy fit shall fall, sudden from heaven, like a weeping cloud that fosters the droop-headed flowers all, and hides the green hill in an April shroud, then glut thy sorrow on a morning rose, or on the rainbow of the salt sand wave, or on the wealth of glowed peons. Or if thy mistress some rich anger shows, imprison her soft hand, and let her rave, and feed deep, deep upon her peerless eyes. She dwells with beauty, beauty that must die, and joy whose hand is ever at his lips, bidding adieu and aching pleasure nigh turning to poison where the bee-mouth sips. Aye, in the very temple of delight, veiled melancholy has her sovereign shrine, though seen of none save him whose strenuous tongue can burst joy's grape against his palate fine. His soul shall taste the sadness of her might, and be among her cloudy trophies hung.